Hello and welcome back to the channel, Ezo here, and today we're going to be continuing our series in regards to things to do in video, and this is going to be more understanding the leveling mechanics so that when Seasons comes out, you won't have an issue with leveling your character, and then we're going to head towards the benefits of that towards Journal and Progression Pass. So let's jump right into it, and I would consolidate it a little bit later. So why level 261? So this is required for some certain reasons. So first is the season's reward and the season's pass. So if there's a new character or a new seasons like the winter season that's coming out, they give out rewards if you hit certain levels up to 61. So this is a good way to catch up in terms of gold and silver that they push out the stacks the experience and then also some of the enhancement materials and the next is the quest gear that you get from it so it's either from naru to the tuvala gear or like the normal um, quest gear that you get the katan one for example and then also if you get to 58 59 16 and 61 you get the Kaposha gear, which is basically the equivalent of Tri gear in the game. Now, the other thing is you get more skill damage and you can see over here that skills unlock depending on your current level. So the more levels that you have, so for example, up to 60, the more skills would be unlocked for you. And the good thing about that one too is that during the seasons and season pass, they give out the Misty Breeze books that gives you skill points. And the next one is the plus one AP sheet, which is very good if you're trying to reach out a higher bracket at the end game. And then also access to new regions. Reason with this one is it kind of like stems from Odalita. Like, you know, we thought that once it was released, you would be able to access the NPCs, but they were locked because of lore. So it's kind of like that. I'm thinking that once the winter region comes out, then you would have to finish like Kama Sylvia, Odalita, and then that. So just a precaution and, you know, I'm preparing in advance and then the last one which is my favorite is the free inventory slots so at the beginning if you try to force your character to leveling up without going through the main story quest line then what would happen is most of the time you would have short you would be short in inventory space and you can't grind efficiently or like do things more efficiently so that's one so we're gonna go to the next section and this is kind of like understanding why you need the chenga too so the territories in the game corresponds to a certain level of XP with the chenga too so if you are in balino serendia calpion medaya and valencia you would get 1.3 xp from level 1 to 57 so meaning that you know any story quest that you do in terms of like you know the solid border ones not the daily ones then you would get 1.3 and at 58 you would get 1.4 up to 59 once you reach 59 it's gonna be too low it's gonna be 0.13 which is very you know not efficient so that's why we're gonna be moving on to like the higher end areas which is like the stars and Kama Sylvia, Dragon, and Odalita now you would see over here that level 1 to 60 any of the quests that you take there is going to be 1.3% XP and anything above 61 is going to be 0.21, um, 0 0.021, which is like very, very non-efficient. So this means that you need 77 rewards from quest, the combat XP quest, to reach the next level. So let me show you what I mean. So the next thing I would ask you to do is open up your map and hit this territory resource information on the top right. This would show you what area belongs to a certain region. If it's for Valenos, it's blue. If it's for this, you know, light green, it's going to be Serendia territory. And then if it's green, it's going to be Calpheon. Red is going to be Medaya and it's over here. And then Dragon is blue. Kama Sylvia is lightish red and then black for Odalita. And then this huge area over here on the right side is Valencia. So you would know now, like if there's a quest pertaining to a certain region, then you would know, like for example, the three legendary blacksmith of Medaya, then, you know, they're in Medaya. So kind of like that. So go back to general information and the leveling for 1 to 52 is guided. 
and you would see over here once you start in the ancient stone chamber to Vela this one the castle ruins the fogans the orcs um make sure that you're in a non elvia server you're in the regular server before you do that and then up until you know like when you land in the cat fishman camp and the hexi sanctuary so once you have all that figured out you would now have to you know kind of like try to do all of the quests that are solid border as i mentioned in episode one to reach level 59 and i would say it takes about like a week for a casual player to do that and if you're a hardcore player that can, can play about like eight hours in a day then you you will be able to do that in a matter of two hours to three hours um if you just like ignore the lore and the reason why i'm saving, saying 77 is the total quest that you need because each one of those once again as i have said is 1.3 so once you get to 59 your landing spot would be at Braylin farm so at Braylin farm it gives you um 23 total quests for you to do and that would land you at 29.9 so the next part would be the outpost supply port and then heading over to the calpion northwestern outpost will give you about 24 quests that lands you at 61.1 with a total of 47 quests and you would just go over here at stars end where you would do like port quests that like just travels and auto completes and that lands you at 49 quests which is very easy um if you are dying quickly to the stars and mobs better avoid the kill quest and skip that for now and then head on over to like this part where you would just have to talk to a certain npc and you would get your final one to 50. now once you head over to the archer guard post you would get three quests that lands you at 68.9 and then heading over to the weenie cabin triggers the grana questing which is gonna be 75.4 with a total of four quests so that's 57 in total and then in grana you would be able to do 10 quests that would land you at 88.4 and then the guy fiend simple quest heading over to mansions and then over to the lemoria guard post which lands you at 100 at a total of 77 quests so those golden borders would you know also be available over here at like you know the dragon regions like the call canyon marsha outpost guy altar so like this mini nodes that's why it's very important to talk npcs with a question mark because they are surrounded with those solid borders npc and this requires a lot of traveling that's why your mana crop is very important and just in case that you are still missing a couple of xp up to 99 percent and you still need a little bit more and can't find any more quests maybe because like you've missed some or kind of like you can't find the npc that gives them out then you could search for jamie drucker on any major cities and also with the npc finder so what you would do is interact with that npc and you would see this books that allows you to afk train on the dummies for a certain amount of hours so they are stackable so if you're gonna be gone for like 30 hours for you know work and stuff like that and you still want to level up your character just make sure that you know it's not gonna reach like 99 because like 99 percent is its max with the books then definitely use this one so for example i'm gonna be gone for groceries for three hours gonna buy that one and all i have to do is find a dummy that is open and just make sure that you have buff so the simple cron supply to that one um, the combat XP book too that the game gives out frequently a lot like also applies So for example, I'm leveling up my guardian to 65 This has helped me a lot and also the mercenary experience scroll that the games gives out for free Including this blessed message scroll that I still have 183 even though like I've been using it like almost every day So um, the game gives out a lot of this ones during like the events the box events So definitely helps you out with the skills and combat XP for 100 minutes and also for the equipments that you have like for example the kiddix um adventure crystals that gives like combat xp plus 10 percent this tax so that's an additional 20 percent the um macalods and the gervish those one gives a lot too like you can see over here this one gives me five percent and three skill percent xp and then like the five percent for the other one so 10% and the costume, which is going to be another 10%. So that's going to be definitely like a great boost for your AFK training. 
and all you have to do is consume the book so for example this one that i have i'm going to consume like the one hour and it would appear over here on the top it's countdown and you know just like read the fine print so you don't like um, assume anything over there and what you have to do is just click r and then you're set you're um, character would start training on its own as long as the book is open and what I recommend is put your settings to the lowest um, as possible just so that you know like you're not spending too much resources on like AFK you could do work on the side while you're doing this so definitely one thing one great thing to know especially for those that are starting out and want to get more skill XP without grinding or combat XP without grinding so this next section would give you a lot of things to do and this would kind of like boost you up to in terms of silver and gains so the first one would be the season pass on the top right part of your screen and this is a lot your goal is to complete 150 of these in order to complete this one and per section there's also some that you need to complete up to like for example this one 23 in order to get the full reward now the good thing about this one is it's easy to follow so for example these ones these are all accomplishable by going through the main quest doing the side quest and you will be able to complete it by just like you know just checking your quest window by pressing O. so one example is the free pet so if you go to this third one you would see that you have to complete all of these ones which is part of kind of like the main quest as you can see complete the main quest complete the main quest and then this one too is complete the main quest and after that one it would open up this side quest over here so this is a suggested one so all of these ones would be on the o window so once you press o it would be over here and there's a lot of quests that you can do over here that gives you additional items so that's kind of like part of the progression pass too so this is like for the inventory expansion this gives you a plus you know plus two expansion some of them just gives you plus one so keep that in mind but this when you do this this gives you free inventory space like i mentioned before and then the pets um you can only get i think one squawky but on the progress pass i already completed it you get the um a new pet over here with the pet callus delphi um delphi and then also here the Janaid scat i believe and those are free pets that you could use and you know put your pets up to five so that is one thing that you can do and also the kafra stones that you get over here the memory fragments and the cron stone can be used in your in the future so but if you do want to sell your kafra stones that you get over here and then also like the golds over here could net you good amount of money to progress your gear and with your knowledge on episode one on looking to the marketplace then you could definitely buy the right type of gear so go ahead and browse these ones see what you could complete and like you know it would be another topic on its own going through all of these ones but the main thing that you should complete here is the game tips so you would know how the ui works how the chat works how some of the um, items such as the item rentals which is going to be so easy this would open up to a lot of cron stones and also the lilas petals which is going to be the item you need to exchange for the fairy and if you are new then this would be your first fairy good luck with that and that would add up to a lot of items over here at the bottom so make sure to do that and then we would now go to the adventure journal to be able to access this one just hit escape go to adventure and click on the second one now just a reminder for this one you would have to complete the books in order or sometimes when there are events so for example like the mood gangs like it is on different books so it skips so what i would recommend is just start over in igor bartali's adventure log and it's fairly easy it's like questing so it shows you here what you need to do you have to go to cyclops land to defeat the cyclops if you did the main quest you would know that this is near creoville um in calpheon and then this is you know catching a fish basically like you would know that it's in Velia over here it says here Velia so I would post a guide too on the description below on like you know one of the uh, sites that I followed for this it's fairly easy and it gives you a lot of stats so one good thing about this one is it gives you sheet AP once you complete some certain journals and that would boost you up another bracket so 
once you reach kind of like mid game to end game it's much harder to upgrade your gear then this is kind of like equivalent to 6 8 edition so like at least on on my part like some players that i know haven't completed this one yet so they're still working on it but like just make sure like you know like just treat this as quest do it one at a time and you'll eventually get there and the good thing about this too is like it gives a lot of cash for stone so if you're a beginner this is instant money for you but like a lot of you know players that i know would recommend not selling cafras but at this point it's so cheap to buy equipment then you know getting those cheapest one listed is much of a priority rather than upgrading your cafras level which is going to be end game end game so guys that is it for this video i hope that this has helped you out in some sort of way and as always thank you so much for watching i hope that you do consider subscribing and I'll be preparing now for episode three and I'll see you guys over there.